Hey, this is TNT Barbecue with a Southern Explosive Taste. Today, guys, what we're having is I'm doing a review on a product that's been reviewed by Southern Coastal Cooking by JB. But I'm putting a different twist on it, okay? So if my camera person can uh, angle up here. Chevetta's Chicken Marinade. But guess what I did, guys? I said I wonder how Chevetta's will taste on some uh, ribs. So, my camera person can come down here as I unwrap the ribs. Okay, these been marinating for approximately 13 hours, okay? So, right here. You can tell the marinade has um, did its job. So, look all that yummy goodness, guys. This stuff smells incredible. So, I'm going to uh, kind of shake them off a little bit. So, before I put them on the cutting board, okay, so, shaking that off, shaking that off. Okay, these are St. Louis style spare ribs. And here's the, um, I call them the skirt meat up under the, um, right here. And I got some towels here that I, I'm going to use to pat the ribs dry. Okay, could you come over here? All right, I'm patting the ribs dry with this towel right here. So, that the marinade and everything can just, you know, get it, get the meat kind of, so the um, season can stick a little bit better. I did not remove the membrane, guys, okay? The membrane was not removed, okay? So, uh, as dry as I'm gonna get it, so. I'm finna go, and what I got now, guys, is uh, I'm using some a seasoned blend, paprika, light pepper, salt, and that's about it, and some garlic. So, mix paprika just for the color. So, I'm just getting this right here, and I'm just gonna go. Like such, I don't want to over season the meat too much due to the fact that um, the season does have um, all the seasons in there, but I just wanted to have a uh, make sure I have enough flavor in there, you know. So I flip it over. That's it, you know, I got these right here. So what I do is I come up here, I wanna get my smoke warmed up. 180, I'm cooking with some oak. And what I'm doing is I'm glazing them off, guys. And guess what I'm using? I'm using the oldie but goldie. Right there, guys, Sweet Baby Rays. So Sweet Baby Rays on the glaze. And what I used was, I used this, um, I used this seasoning, well, marinade, excuse me, Chevetta's. Chevetta's marinade, and that's what I marinated the ribs in. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to have another take, and that's when I'm going to bring the ribs off, I'm going to let them rest, and I'm going to put them on the cutting board, and they're going to rest for a little bit, and then we'll be doing some slices and looking at it. So, uh, I'm going to take them off, okay? So, right now, I'm going to take the ribs off. And these was not wrapped in no foil or nothing. These were just cooked on the Traeger uh, XL. And here's the key, guys, okay? If you want to we use Traegers or any kind of pellet cooker, I would imagine, close the grill down. Before you cut the grill off, you want to put it on smoke. And what that does is that helps out with the pellets would not be burned inside of the the, um, the, the contraption that uh, sends the pellet into the firebox in the auger. So the auger, the pellets in the auger would not get burned if you put it on smoke because that slows down the fire. That makes everything calm down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another run down the ribs. 
So I'm gonna let these sit up, get tacky a little bit, you know, cool off, and I'm gonna slice them up for you. TNT barbecue with a southern explosive taste. We out of here. Guys, it's TNT barbecue, guys. I'm in my trailer, and I want to uh, cut up the ribs so I can get a better take due to the sun glaring out there. So we just took the ribs off the trigger. We got them here. They're glazed over pretty good. Got some sweet baby rays on it. And we're finna do some cutting, guys. So um, here we go. And these are ribs with no um, aluminum foil. These are just straight smoke on the trigger. So I'm gonna flip these over, see how the bone's running. So I'm just gonna cut right here. I try to make good, clean cuts, okay? So I'm just on the rib, okay? I'm not worried about no Hollywood cuts or nothing like this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these ribs out, guys, and show you. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that rib right there. Can you see the juiciness? You see the juicy in, in those ribs? So let's go to the finished product, guys, okay? This is how it counts right here, okay? We finna see something. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's a bite through rib right there. Mm. Okay. Let's talk about that. Okay. The marinade do overpower the pork, okay? I'm just going to tell you that, okay? It tastes great. It's a little twangy, but the Sweet Bay Rays balance it out. It's a great rib. I love the texture. I love everything about it. It's just that the um, marinade overpowers the pork. So go for a good three-hour marinade if you want to do this recipe, okay? So this is TNT Barbecue making the mistakes. So you don't have to make the mistakes. So um, these are some good ribs, though. I, I can't complain, but I just hold back on the marinade for the length of time you marinate them. God bless you. God bless America. Comment, subscribe to my video. We out of here. God bless you and God bless America.